once again in my garage and uh, right beside me here is my trusty Street Triple 2023 model. I picked it up a few weeks ago and I made a video on that. Also, a few weeks ago we talked about tail tidies and why do we need them? Do we need them? Are they useful? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to install the EvoTech tail tidy with the Triumph Street Triple RS. So we're going to take the seat off and uh, start getting into this installation. And one of the things you'll notice is underneath the rear cowling, um, you'll see the cable here that uh, leads to the existing rear light, which needs to be disconnected. And uh, there's uh, um, four nuts here that will need to be removed. So um, we'll grab a socket and remove that. Um, the pretty easy to remove it's just a small socket there I think it's a uh, like a six millimeter socket and here we have um, the uh, OEM rear setup which is the left and right indicators and the hideous ugly tail that comes with it now we're going to need to uh, loosen up the left and right turn signals here so you can see that these come off pretty simply and um, then we just need to remove um, one more screw here and um, that'll take the rear of the tail section off so that we can pull the existing wires through so this section just pops straight off and uh, um, remove this plate, you won't be needing that, uh, that can go in the trash and uh, mm, we're just going to just really carefully uh, make sure that we can uh, expose these wires here and uh, just pop them out uh, on either side. Now EvoTech supplies us with their own picky tail here uh, which we're going to be using to um, supplement uh, the old OEM wiring harness. So we, you can see here is the OEM connectors. So we're going to need to disconnect both the left and right side of these connectors so that we can um, pass them through to the EvoTech towel tidy. So now that we've got these cables all nicely exposed, uh, we're going to need to disconnect uh, the OEM uh, cables that go to the existing loom for the rear light and indicators. We're going to have to do the rear light indicators and also the left and right um, indicators, sorry, the stop, sign, stop light and the left and right indicators. And um, they pop off super simply. You might break a few uh, fingernails, uh, but uh, yeah, see they come out pretty easily. So uh, you'll notice that the indicator just pops straight off there. So just put that aside. Do the same for the left and the right. Put them both aside. Now be sure to retain the entire loom uh, that you took out of the OEM um, tailpiece because we're going to use that again. And as I mentioned, make sure you uh, um, hold on to those indicators because we'll be using those as well. Next thing we need to do is start assembling the EvoTech towel tidy. So this is the first piece that uh, we want to install and the cable is just going to like nicely slide through here. Um, it's pretty simple, you don't need to force it. And you can see that it just pops through nicely and then this piece here is actually the um, license plate light. Um, so that just slips in there and that's going to light up your plate at night um, and that um, little pigtail um, cord just pokes straight through there nice and tidy and there's a couple of little screws here that we're going to need to put in just to hold that in place. Okay so these two pieces here uh, are what we're going to use to secure the left and right indicators uh, to the EvoTech tail tidy so uh, not only be tidying up the brake light but also tidying up each indicator light as well. So we have one of these for each side. Um, we're just going to, really simple, just um, pop the wires through either side and um, then we can um, start um, assembling the tail light piece. And you can see that these cables simply just pass through on either side. 
for each indicator. Um, make sure it's nice and straight. And uh, here's both of them now fully assembled and that's just going to leave us to do uh, the rear tail like section now. We're just going to slide these cables through here um, so that you can marry those up with the brake light um, in the rear tail of the bike. So this piece here is um, obviously where the license plate goes. It just fits perfectly in the center there. Um, there's kind of like a diamond-like head to the uh, end of it there and just a single screw, um, Allen bolt screw. Um, tighten her up, but again, don't over tighten it. And um, the next thing we need to do is just route those cables through the tail section back under the seat uh, to where the main power jack is. Uh, we were disconnected the OEM lights from. And before we do that, uh, just make sure that we are placing the, um, it's like another diamond shaped piece that just pops over the cables there and we're gonna route those through. So they're nice and tight and then it's just simply a matter of bolting it onto the rear tail. Really important to make sure you don't dispose of this uh, rubber seal here, this gasket. Um, this actually um, came um, with the bike. So this is actually an OEM piece that you will reuse. And you can see it's pretty tidy here. All the cables sorted. So remember the uh, pigtail harness that came with the EvoTech tail tidy. Uh, now we need to connect that to the OEM cables. Again, really simple. Just got to make sure um, you've got them wired uh, to the correct side on each side and um, then we can get back down to the bike and you can see here that the tail tidy just slots up on the rear here and then we're going to get back up and uh, start routing those cables through the tail and then connecting it back to the bike through those OEM bolts that we removed earlier. Now let's see if uh, we can get the uh, left and right turn signals crank cranking. Yep, left works good and right is working good too so there you go no worries now there are a few other doodakies here um, it's a down under slang for a couple of bits and pieces that we're going to need to use to um, line up the license plate um, on the back of the towel tidy every country has different plates different sizes so evotech supplies different adapters to make sure you can get your tail tidy um, cranking uh, with whatever shape license plate you have here in the us we actually have decent ones they're just normal they're not the big hideous ugly square ones that we have in some parts of the world so this looks pretty good now if you want to get really fancy and install the uh, reflector plate that comes with uh, the evotech tail tidy you'll need to drill a couple of holes into the back of your plate or at least i had to and there you have it, no problem. And there are those two adapters. Um, they're set up now for me to put the plate back on with the reflectors all in place. And um, then we'll be done with the installation. Just gonna line it up, throw it on the back. And um, the screws that come with it are pretty good. So here's the finished product. Not looking too bad. So folks, thanks so much for uh, listening to that installation. Uh, I'm still learning how to get these videos to be awesome. Um, so I have faith they're going to get better. Um, you know, it takes a bit of time just learning how to do this stuff. We've got all these gadgets, all this stuff all over the place, different microphones. It's just all sorts of experimentation going on. But if you think I kind of know what I'm doing and it's kind of interesting, please do like and subscribe. Uh, the next piece of work I'm going to be doing is starting to uh, throw some bits and bobs on my new Aprilia Telrag 660. And that's going to be a whole lot of fun, getting the bike ready for spring, summer, and all that fun stuff. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.